o funde noster, seu sabine, seu tiburs. Non tesse tibort autumant, quibus non es cordi catulum laiderat, quibus cordi est, quoi sabinum pignoresse contendunt. Sed seu sabine, siue verius tiburs, fui libenter in tua suburbana villa, malanque pector expuli, Tussim. Non immerenti, qua mi meus venter, dun sumptuosa sapeto dedit Cainas. Nam sestianus dun voluesse conviva, oration in antium petitorem, plenam venenii et pestilentiae legi. Hic me grauedo frigidat frequens tussis qua sauit, usque dum in tuum sinum fugi, et me recorai otioquet ortiga. Quare refectus maximas tibi gratis ab. Me un quod non es ulta peccatum. Nec de precor iam, si ne faria scripta, sesti recepso, quin grauedin et tussim, non mi, sed ipsi sestio ferat frigus. Qui tunc vocat me, cum malum librum legi. O farmstead of ours, whether Sabine or Tiburtine, for they say you are Tiburtine, for whom it is not in their heart to offend Catullus. But for those whose intention is the opposite, they insist by any wager necessary that you are Sabine. But whether Sabine or more truly, Tiburtine, I was most gladly in your suburban villa, and cast out from my chest a terrible cough, which not undeservedly my belly gave to me while I'm chasing after extravagant dinner parties. For since I'm eager to be a dinner guest of Cestius, I read his oration against Antius, the candidate, full of poison and pestilence. At once, a chilling feeling of heaviness and incessant coughing shook me continually until I fled into your bosom and cured myself with rest and a diet of nettles. Therefore, restored, I offer to you the greatest thanks, since you did not punish my transgression. Nor do I now pray for anything, if I should again receive the abominable writings of Cestius, but that their chill would bring the heavy illness and cough, not to me, but to Cestius himself, who invites me to dine, only when I have read his wretched book. 